Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're starting a new series, a new playlist, on solving equations, a particular kind of equations, equations that contain rational expressions. And remember what rational expressions are, they're simply fractions. So here we have a fraction, 3 over x plus 2, there's 6 over x squared minus 4, so that's why this is an equation with rational expressions. The question is, how do we solve them? And then maybe another question might be, what does it even mean, solving an equation? Well, solving an equation is finding the value or values, if there's more than one, of the variable, in this case the variable x, that satisfies the equation. Well, what does that mean? Well, satisfying an equation means finding the value or values of x that make the left side of the equation equal to the right side of the equation. So what values are they? Well, we could try to plug some values in by trial and error and to see if we can find the right ones, but that could take a very long time. The proper approach is a very systematic approach. And here are the steps that we should follow. With rational expressions, we first want to find the lowest common denominator, which may require us to factor something first. In this case, the x squared minus 4 should be factored. Then we multiply both sides by the LCD, then we move all the terms to one side if we have a quadratic expression, which typically would be the case, and then we solve for x. All right, let's go ahead and follow that instruction. First, we need to find the lowest common denominator, and we're going to do that by factoring all the denominators that need to be factored, like the x squared minus 4. So this can be written as 3 over x plus 2 plus 6 over, since that's the difference of squares, would be x plus 2 times x minus 2, and that stands at equal to minus 1. So now we can clearly see what the LCD is, the lowest common denominator. It'll be this denominator right here. So the LCD is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2. So what we're going to do now is multiply both the left side and the right side of that equation by the lowest common denominator. So on the left side, and we do the same thing on the right side. Okay, once we've done that, we can go ahead and multiply every term on the left side and the right side with that lowest common denominator. Notice here the x plus 2 will cancel out and we're left with 3 times x minus 2. Here we see that the x plus 2, x minus 2 cancels out with the x plus 2, x minus 2, and all we have left is the numerator 6. On the right side, we have minus 1 times this, so that's minus 1 times the product of those two, which is x squared minus 4. Then we go ahead and get rid of the parentheses by multiplying everything through. 3x minus 6 plus 6 equals minus x squared plus 4. Notice that the minus 6 and xx cancel out. Move everything over to one side. We have 0 equals minus x squared minus 3x plus 4, and then continuing over here, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1 because I always like to have a positive coefficient in front of the x squared term. So that gives us 0 equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. And now we have to solve this. That is what we call a quadratic equation, but we've learned the techniques of factoring. So if this is factorable, we'll go ahead and try to factor it. So 0 is equal to the product of two binomials. Let's try x and x. Well, we need a positive and a negative, and when we multiply, we get negative 4. Add, we get positive 3, so that's plus 4. Minus 1 will do the trick. And so now we have two binomials multiplied together to give us 0. Well, we multiply two things together and we get 0. That means either one or the other should be 0. So that means x plus 4 equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. Well, if x plus 4 equals 0, that means that x must equal negative 4. And if x plus 1 equals 0, moving the negative 1 over, we can say that x must equal 1. Of course, it's either 1 or the other. It can, x cannot be negative 4 and positive 1 at the same time. So that means we have solved the equation. The two values that will make the left side equal to the right side are the value for x equal negative 4 
and x equals positive 1. And that would typically be the solution. Now, what we need to do here is a couple of things. First of all, we can plug those values into our original equation to see if that indeed satisfies the equation. And secondly, since we have rational expressions, there are denominators and there are certain values that x cannot be because that would make the denominator go to zero and of course we can divide by a zero denominator because that is undefined. So in the next video we're going to do these two checks. We're first going to check to see if the answers are correct and secondly to make sure they don't violate any of the rules meaning with, if any of these solutions for x gives a zero denominator then of course we cannot accept that solution is not acceptable and that is how it's done.